this is the Blue Clone, uh, my analog drum machine and bass synthesizer in one. This is my latest creation and I'm quite happy with it. Um, this is uh, an analog dr drum machine based on the CB55 by Circuit Benders in the UK, which is a clone of the Roland DR55, a pretty cool drum machine. Um, I added a whole load of extra functionality to it, which are all these knobs, which I'm going to talk about later. It also has an analog bass synthesizer, which is digitally controlled, so it's a DCO. And uh, it also has a VCF in there. And uh, it's a prototype for uh, the voice boards for Dardik, which is my next project. I'm going to talk about uh, that later as well. Um, as a fancy case, made from an uh, Inkle 800 mixer, um, nice wooden panels, I painted it blue, do need to repaint it, because uh, it accidentally got a bit damaged, but oh well, we'll do that at some point. <laughs> um, it has two separate outputs on the back, for the uh, drum machine and for the bass synthesizer, and it has MIDI inputs. Um, the drum machine is on MIDI channel 10 uh, using the standard uh, notes for uh, drums and the bass synthesizer is on MIDI channel uh, 0 um, and of course also uses standard notes <laughs> um, so yeah let's take a look at uh, all the functionality um, the drum machine first uh, we have a kick drum, we have a snare drum, we have a hi-hat and a rim shot. Um, pretty classic sounds. The um, kick drum has a pitch and decay control and in the future I also add a third control which is probably going to be distortion since that is one of my favorite effects on uh, kick drums like these. So. Um, the snare drum has a pitch, a noise and decay control. Uh, it essentially consists of two sounds, a uh, tone and a white noise, which can be uh, mixed together with these two controls. And of course the pitch of the tone can also be controlled, so we have a wide variety of snare sounds. The hi-hat uh, has a tone control and decay control. The tone control essentially sets the pitch and resonance of the hi-hat. Uh, so it changes yeah, the vibe of the hi-hat, if you will. Of course, decay, uh, sets the decay. Um, and the rim shot just has a single pitch control. And then there's also uh, two controls for the output of the drum machine, an accent control. Um, the CB55 has a cool uh, extra trigger, which allows you to put accents on notes so that they're played a little bit louder. And I believe um, this mostly works for the hi-hat and snare drum. The tone control below it um, essentially um, is just a, a low-pass filter which uh, allows you to darken or lighten the sound accordingly. Uh, give it a bit of vibes or a cool crescendo kind of effect, whatever you want. <laughs> Now to the right here we have a reverb section which is currently not working yet. Uh, I don't have the components for the reverb just yet. But when I do um, the drum machine output uh, can be routed through that reverb. It's going to be a very cool sounding one. Probably it's going to be stereo as well. So that would be really cool. And it has a... Uh, allows you to set the time of the reverb and of course uh, to mix it in with uh, the slider. Um, each drum sound also has a volume control um, which is still a bit iffy uh, because uh, some of these faders actually don't work well. I salvaged them from the uh, Inkle mixer which this case is also from but uh, yeah they're in pretty bad shape unfortunately uh, I only discovered this when I already plonk them in there so oh well but for now it's uh, it works really well so oh. <laughs> um, to the right of the reverb is the section for the bass synthesizer these controls right here um, the bass synthesizer has a simple attack and decay envelope which controls the cutoff frequency of the filter 
The uh, DCO uh, outputs two waveforms, a sawtooth and a pulse. And the pulse can also be pulsed with modulated. So what this control does is um, if it's all the way down, you just have the pulse from around here to all the way up here you get a salt tuned mixed in with uh, a pulse and the pulse will also be pulse with modulated all the way down here it will be slowly modulated and all the way up here it will be uh, very quickly modulated and all the way up here we ha just have the salt tooth um, the salt tooth is still a bit uh, narrow it doesn't actually um, uh, like it has, it has these gaps in between each uh, saw waveform so it does have a little bit of a different sound it's not a pure saw uh, not by far but i do like the sound so far and i'm like well this is fine lastly we have the resonance control right here and this is, of course that's the resonance of the filter um, to from zero resonance all the way up to maximum resonance. The filter isn't self oscillating. It's um, actually a bit of an oddity. It's a twin T filter, which are usually used for kick drums. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Drumic, my other drum machine creation, actually uses a twin T resonance circuit to generate a dec decaying sine wave for the kick drum. Uh, but in this instance, I turned it into a low-pass filter and of course because it already has natural resonance, didn't need ex any extra components. It's actually a very simple but uh, quite effective filter. So um, a bit of an experiment, a bit of a dare <laughs> if you will, but um, I'm quite happy with the sound so hey, it worked out alright. Now in the final section to the right here. Uh, these are the controls for the uh, drum machine and internal uh, sequencer. Um, you have a tempo control of course. You have a start stop button. And a uh, beat selection control. And I'm gonna go to this switch uh, in a minute. Now essentially um, when you l use the uh, internal uh, drum sequencer and the uh, bass sequencer, you have eight presets. And let me go through them uh, quickly by pressing play. So this is the first one. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. different uh, presets um, both for the drum beat as the uh, bass uh, melody um, these are just initial uh, bass melodies by the way I haven't really um, thought them out that much so that's the internal uh, sequencers you can also set it to exer external excuse me with the flick of this switch so now what happens, it accepts the uh, MIDI from the MIDI input on the back here. So you can control the drum machine uh, through channel 10 of MIDI and the bass synthesizer through channel 0 of MIDI. Um, it's all uh, standard notes, so just uh, the drums are just a general MIDI set. And of course, well, bass notes are bass notes. <laughs> um, the bass synthesizer has a range of I think four octaves at the moment. Um, it can't really go farther. And uh, the problem with the Arduino is is that it um, mostly does integer math. So um, it, uh, it kind of starts lacking precision in the higher notes you get. Um, I probably can uh, use fixed point mathematics to improve this, 
but frankly um, the tuning's fine so and this is a bass synthesizer so yeah <laughs> and um, uh, it mostly performs well in the uh, lower registers and frankly that's why it sounds fine so yeah um, not really anything else to say about this thing um, of course it does uh, still need some work to reverb uh, two extra knobs here that I still need to implement and uh, probably some fine tuning of the bass synthesizer some more but I'm already very happy with what it sounds like so um, yeah I hope you uh, enjoyed this little demonstration and explanation of the blue clone the next project will be Dradic a polyphonic analog synthesizer uh, which will be quite a project to say the least but um, yeah oh and also another cool thing I'm planning to uh, do a 9 inch nails cover probably copy of A uh, using this thing as well as some other uh, of my creations it would be cool to do a cover with just DIY synthesizers I think that would be really cool so probably once um, Tradik is finished and also the final version of SQK1 I still have the prototype, I took it apart I'm like I'm going to finish this thing now I already found a uh, Arduino board which I'm going to use for it and well it's going to be very interesting so a cover with that would be really cool anyways enough talking hope you enjoyed this video if you did like comment subscribe all that fancy shit and i'll see you guys next video bye bye yo yeah oh yeah